They played us like a damn fiddle! Whenever I interacted with Kaine, I was reminded about something from my past. Maybe my mind has been confusing her with my sister this whole time. Anyway... The beast approaches. Oh, I know. This happened again. It dies today. I saw it. It's lighter. It's not the blade, but the skill of the user. Strike it down.
long time. Any luck with Yona? We are still no closer to finding her. We need a way to locate the Shadow Lord. By the way, this is for you. Is that a lunar tear? It's not as good as your grandmother's, but I tried. No, it's great. Thank you. Kaine waking from her long petrified sleep. Meals unflagging kindness. Our reunion was a happy one, and we let it wash over us like rain. That is, until Devila and Popola had to go and ruin it all. Are you kidding me? You can't be serious! Please, try to understand. People are tired and scared, and... I'm sorry. I'm sorry you have to bear the brunt of that. This is crap, and you know it! It's okay. We can sleep outside. No one's sleeping outside. You and Kaine saved this village, and now they want to run you out? People are afraid of us, and really, I understand. I mean... Look at me. As long as you're still with us, I can deal with it. Right, Kaine? I'm used to sleeping outside. But... We'll see you later. Sorry about this. What is the matter? Kaine always sleeps outside. I never thought about that until just now. Never even occurred to me. Damn it. We should turn in. I didn't get much sleep that night. For the first time in my life, I hated Devola. For the first time in my life, I doubted Popola. But those feelings are pointless in the end. They said and did what they did for the sake of the village. To protect it from the horror of the Shades. Really, how can I blame Devola and Popola? In the end, I'm just as bad. Because I never once stopped to think about Kaine and Emil's situation myself. I should apologize to Kaine and Emil. But, what good would that even do? I got a fire going kind Wait, of is that... Campfires are weird. I'm so happy to get to talk to you again, Kaine. Yeah, me too. I tried everything I could think of to save you, you know. I polished you with a special cloth. I poured warm water over you. I... Wait. You poured water on me? <laughs> yeah, but it didn't really do much except make you all shiny. <laughs> hey, Emil. Thanks for saving me. I guess you noticed how I look... different now. I'm sorry, Emil. I'm sorry for all of it. Well, I mean, this new form isn't all bad, you know? At least I can look at you when we talk, right? Hey, so why don't you tell me something about yourself? I'm not very interesting, sorry. Come on, I just want to know you better. Please? Fine. This all happened when I was a kid, before the whole shade possession thing. My body is... different. 
And when the villagers found out about it, they started treating me like a freak. But one person, my grandmother, accepted me just as I was. No matter how bad things got, she gave me the strength to keep going. She's really special to you, huh? Yeah. Oh, hey! That gives me an idea! Since we cured your petrification, we should start looking for a way to cure your possession and my body! I know we can do it if we all work together! Heck, it'll probably be super easy! Let me guess, more warm water? Okay, can we just forget I told you about that? <laughs> Sleep well? Sure. And yet your red eyes tell a different tale. Don't be so hard on yourself, lad. I need to go see Devola and Popola. Very well. you'd never talk to us again. I understand you're doing this for the village, and that you don't have a choice. Pretty much, yeah. But look, why don't you go talk to Popola? I think she wanted to discuss the Shadow Lord with you. I'm headed there next. Oh, and Devola? Yeah? Sorry about yesterday. I shouldn't have lost my temper like that. You don't need to apologize. Anyone would be upset when their friends are hurting. Let Emil and Kaine know that we're sorry, all right? All right. Let Emil and Kaine know that we're sorry, all right? All right. Popola? Oh, hello. Look, I want to apologize for yes. Stop. You didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, but neither did you. You're just trying to protect the villagers. And I jumped down your throat for it. It's very kind of you to say so. Regardless, please don't let it trouble you. Ahem. <clears throat> I believe there was something you wished to discuss with us. Oh, right. Yes, about that. You know about the Lost Shrine, right? The temple where I was first discovered. That's it. Well, it seems that the Shadow Lord's lair is connected to it somehow. Oh, ho. It was right under our pages the whole time. But the bridge that leads there is unusable. So, take a boat. A, a boat? Yes. The canal's finally been repaired. It took a lot longer than expected. What with the shades and all. I also asked them to provide a boat at the path to the Lost Shrine's back entrance. The ferryman will let you use it free of charge. That should make it easier for you to move from town to town. Thanks, Popola. I feel like you've done so much for me. I'm really grateful. <sighs> Alright, I'll see you around. And for the love of everything, be careful. And for the... The path above the entrance to the shopping district should lead to the boat landing. How excellent to know the canal is finished. Hopefully this puts our days of running all over behind us. The 
faster we can move, the faster we can save Yona. Let's use it as often as we need. Hey, look who it is! Remember me? That red bag. By my pages, you're the slovenly half of that couple who refused to stop arguing. Hey, it's been a while. Sure has. I've been in charge of this canal since we last talked. Apparently I did a pretty good job with it because they decided to make me the permanent ferryman. Oh yeah, huh? Congrats. Thanks. Still, it's not all puppies and unicorns. The old ball and chain is always harping on me now about how much I work. Anyway, if you got a place to be, just let me know and I'll take you there.